Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video, first, we're gonna talk about Nick Walker and some controversy, some drama regarding him and his coach, Matt Jensen. So a couple of bodybuilding news channels and outlets talked about this rumor that was circling around, and it was more than just a rumor, it was about Nick Walker not working with Matt Jensen anymore and not being sponsored by Raw and Rewive. Now, is there any truth to that? Apparently, yeah, there was some truth in it, but Nick just cleared the air. He made a video about this, he regarded this matter, and he explained to us what happened and what is the actual truth. So, the rumor was that Nick actually wanted to compete at the Arnold, but Matt was against it. And Nick felt that it was because Matt already had a client, uh, Brad Wilkin, competing at the Arnold, and that basically Nick uh, gave uh, Matt Jansen an ultimatum that he wanted Matt to stop working with all the top guys and to work only with Nick Walker, <laughs> with him, which was of course stupid and obviously Matt didn't accept that and he uh, stopped working with, with Nick and that was, that was a story, that was it I don't know what part of this is true, what part is not, but Nick just cleared the air, he gave us the explanation, what is the truth, what is happening right now, so let me play this video for you guys. I just wanted to hop on here real quick and basically clear the air of everything, and um, I will say a lot of what you guys have heard was true, you know, I let a lot of things get in the way and cloud, uh, cloud my better judgment, um, that was my mistake. That was my fault. Um, and, um, you know, after having a meeting with Matt and Dom yesterday, I'm not going anywhere from Raw or Revive or Matt. And, um, you know, we're going to ride this thing till the wheels falls off. So I just wanted to clear the air. And, yeah. So there you go, they are not uh, parting ways, they are still working together. These things happened uh, in coach-client relationships, you know, it can be complicated, it can get uh, troublesome sometimes, but if they work it out, they work it out, so it's all fine. But if the reason why they, why they broke up <laughs> was because Nick wanted Matt to stop working with everybody else, if that part of the story is true, then that's pretty lame, man. that sucks. I, I wouldn't like that to be the truth, but I don't know, we didn't really get the details, as far as we know right now, Nick is still working with, uh, with Matt and he's still connected with Raw and Revive, so really nothing has changed, they had a meeting, they worked it out and it's all fine now, but what is really the case, what exactly happened, I'm pretty sure, uh, Nick is kind of pretty private, so I'm pretty sure we won't really get the full story, but if we get one, it will be on Fuad Abiyad's podcast, and I would love Nick to explain things further, if that happens, if he gives us a full story on Fuad's podcast, I watch that podcast, as soon as the videos are out, I watch them, so guys, subscribe to this channel, because as soon as the video is up, if he explains things, I will make sure to make a video about it right here, so guys, once again, stay tuned. By the way, this is one of the clients that Matt was supposed to <laughs> stop working with because of Nick, allegedly, allegedly, I don't know how true this is, I, I really doubt it, because it doesn't really make sense, but anyways, this is Brett Wilkin, at four, actually five weeks out of Arnold Classic. Look at this most muscular. I mean, first of all, take a look at the back lat spread. This was his, as, as Matt says, one of his weakest poses. Is it improved? I, I definitely think he added some, some depth, some thickness in that back. Not a lot. It's still probably going to be his weakest pose, but it is definitely improved. It feels like he gained around 10 pounds of, 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 of sheer muscle in this offseason. But what I'm more impressed with is the legs in the most muscular. Now, he always had good quads, good legs, but he kind of lacked that... That, that fullness, that, that thickness in the middle area. Take a look at what he looked like at Chicago, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, his legs were... Uh, they were big. Don't get me wrong. They weren't small. They were really big quads. But they were kind of flat. You know, they didn't have that pop, that roundness. Uh, nothing was really, like, freaky about the legs. There weren't crazy details. But, you know, they were conditioned enough, there are lines, you can see all four heads, so details are there. But what was lacking was more roundness. I would prefer to see a little bit more sweep in that lateral, in that, uh, in that outer sweep, right, in that lateral head. 
So take a look at it right now, I feel like he improved that uh, quite a bit, the inner part and the outer part, and like the front part, it's popping more, like it's coming at you, you know, it's sort of 3D, it's more of a 3D right now, and it makes his calves look smaller, <laughs> but it, that doesn't matter, the judges don't look what is happening be be below the knees area, no, no. The calves are not being judged, I mean, that's just my experience from what I saw so far. There were some bodybuilders with really, really bad calves, and they placed much better than some guys who had great calves, so that's pretty much an irrelevant uh, body part. I'm not saying that Brad has uh, uh, small calves, but compared to his quads right here in this photo, they do look uh, really small. But as far as the upper body as well, I mean, the chest looks bigger, fuller, rounder, it's more 3D, the arms and the shoulders as well, like, he is improved, like, he's much, much better, and uh, what everybody is thinking, it might come true, he might actually end up in that runner-up position at the Arnold Classic, or, as I'm saying, he might win, he might beat Brandon Curry, and he actually might take that win, it wouldn't be impossible. You know, there are poses that Brad would uh, definitely lose against Brandon. This pose in particular, it's pretty good for Brad, because he does have big arms and also big legs as well, like he's big and round, but he is not that big, he's not that round like Brandon Curry, for example. But what Brandon has is less weaknesses. Brandon's legs are really weak, but Brad's legs are really good. So, the way, the only way that Brad can beat Brandon is by being uh, more complete. And I'm guessing he's gonna be about the same size, maybe not as round, as, as genetically gifted, maybe not as matured, but he will be as conditioned with better legs. So, you be my guest, I mean, you tell me who's gonna win. It's most likely going to be Brandon, but I would not be too surprised if that was actually Brad, because take a look at this guy, he's making progress so rapidly, and he's young, he's hungry, not really that young, he's not like in his 20s, as some of you think, he's like in his early 30s, but still, he's young in the game, he hasn't been competing for a long time, so he still has a lot of fire, and I'm sure he's going to give 100% of himself at this Iron Classic, and he might very well win the whole thing. Here's another guy who also wants to win this show, he already won the Indie Pro last year, he was, I believe, 8th at the Mr. Olympia, and he was 2nd at the New York Pro, he was 4th at last year's Arnold Classic, so that was a really good year for him, and it seemed like he made a lot of progress in the past off-season, but looking at his photos right now, I'm not really so sure anymore, I mean, look at that left photo right here, it doesn't look that impressive, the side chest one looks good, but the, 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 the side relax, the quarter turn, not very good, like the triceps are not existent, and he doesn't look that big, that full, that round, as he used to in the beginning of this prep, take a look at these photos for example, I mean here, when I saw these photos, I thought this guy might like win the, the, the show, probably not to win it, but he had a good chance of actually being second, right, right behind Brandon Curry, which would be amazing, he wants to win it though, and here he looks like somebody who could win the Arnold if Brandon wasn't there, because Brandon is just amazing, so in these photos he looked like, a, like he looked really good, he looked much better than last year, and it's not just because it's the front uh, and the back poses, because he's good at those, he was good in the side poses as well, take a look at this side chest, take a look at those legs, they look photoshopped, they look like he injected half a gallon of oil in them, which he might have done, <laughs> if that's the case, the, the oil is out, because right now he doesn't look this big, this thick, this round. I mean, yeah, I get it, he is fasting here, so he's flat, flatter than usual, but I don't know, it looks like he's losing that size really rapidly, and I don't know, this is, might be just the part of the process, maybe when he carbs up finally, maybe he, when he increases the food uh, later in the prep, maybe he actually gets that size back, but, you know, he's 33 days out, so how much more improvements can he actually make? So, I don't know, I don't see him beating like Brad Wilkin, I don't see him beating some of the guys like Bonac and some others, so I don't know, I think he's gonna drop in placement uh, this year, I don't think he's gonna be fourth, but, you know, is he making progress, did he make progress in the offseason? It looked like he did, but right now, I'm not so sure anymore, we'll see, we'll see on stage, this could be just a part of the process, and he actually might end up looking much better than the last time. 
And how about some classic physique talk? I mean, I haven't talked about classic physique, guys, as far as the Arnold Classic for a, for a while. I mean, there is no Chris Bumstead, so that makes the show not so much fun. But on the other hand, at the same time, it makes it even more exciting. Because when Chris is there, he is winning it. Everybody knows that. But right now, it's wide open. This is the champ, Terence Ruffin. He won the Arnold Classic last year, and he's prepping to defend the title. It looks like he made some progress, but he's gonna be facing some really good guys. I mean, the entire top five without the Chris Bumps that is doing this show. So, I don't know if he can actually defend the title. We'll see. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be good, because it can go either way. I mean, it's wide open. It's wide open. This, the, the, just the fact that Terrence won last year doesn't mean anything, really. But he does look great right now, and we'll see in four weeks who's gonna win, what's gonna happen. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and for more stuff like this, you know what to do. Subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best, and bye-bye.